Hi guys, I'm Nancy and I'm going to show you logarithms. Logarithms sounds a little pretentious, so I'm just going to call them logs. And here are the kinds I'm going to show you. So if you see something up here that looks like the kind you're trying to figure out, you can use the links in the video or the description to skip ahead. So I'm going to show you first the basic kind of logs. Then I'll show you some weirder kinds if you have a log of a negative number, zero, one, or a fraction. I remember hating the fraction kind. And then I'll show you natural logs, which are a special kind of log. And finally, some even weirder logs. And by that I mean if you have an x in the log part of your expression, or if you have to use the change of base formula. So let me show you the basic ones. Okay, what if you have a basic log expression like this? What is that? How do you even read that expression? The way you read it is log base 3 of 9. But how do you evaluate it? Or what if you have to simplify that? How do you do it? There are a few ways. One way, if you're the kind of person who loves to do things in your head, you can just think to yourself, 3 raised to what power gives me 9? And if you can do it that way, more power to you. You are cooler than the rest of us. But for all the rest of us, usually the easiest way, the fastest way, is to rewrite this into exponential form. And I will show you how to do that. But the first thing you should do is if this doesn't already equal something, make it equal to x. And there's a reason for that because you're going to rearrange this and connect it to an exponential version. How do you do that? There's a pattern you can use. And here's the pattern. To rewrite this into exponential form so that you can find the answer, you start with this little base that I circled. This is the base of your log expression. Start there and move in this direction of the arrow and raise that base to the power of what's on the right side. So the base 3 raised to the power of the right side, which is x, equals, set it equals, 9, the middle number or the other number that's left that you haven't used. All right, so I've just rearrange this into exponential form with that pattern. Some people think of it as little to the right equals middle, if that helps you, but that's the general way that you write this. That's the order, and you end up with something like this that's exponential, 3 to the x power equals 9, which is great because all you have to do is figure out what x makes that true, and since since 3 times 3 equals 9, or 3 squared equals 9, then you can tell that x must be 2. And since x equals 2, that's your answer for the log. That log is equal to 2. The log is always equal to a power from the exponential version. All right, so your answer is 2. If it helps, you can think of this order as a snail. Sounds dumb, but for some people it makes this stick, the order. The idea is that the circle part, the head of a snail, is your base, and then you move in a spiraling direction, kind of the way a snail shell spirals, so counterclockwise spiraling. And if you do that, you'll get the right order of base to the right side equals the middle number. It doesn't really look like a snail, maybe if I added more spirals, maybe. Pretty rough. So if that helps you, great. But let me show you another log expression. All right, what if you have a log expression like this, log of 10,000, and there's no little base written here? I'm showing you this one because if you don't have a little base given to you, it's going to be 10. The default is 10, it's implied, and I think it's good to go ahead and write it. So this is actually log base 10 of 10,000. 
say that you need to simplify this or evaluate this, I think the best way is still to go ahead and write equals to x and to connect it to the exponential version of it and that will let you solve for what the log equals. So remember, you start with the base number, the small base number here. You raise it to the power of what's on the right side, which is x. And then you set it equal to the other number, the number that's left, the one in the middle, 10,000. Okay, so you have an exponential version of it now. All you need to do is figure out what x makes this true, what x makes 10 raised to that power equal to 10,000. And since 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 equals 10,000, or 10 to the fourth power equals 10,000, you can tell that that little power x has to be 4 because 10 to the fourth power equals 10,000. So x equals 4. And now because x equals 4, your whole log expression is just equal to 4, and that is the answer. All right, here's some weirder kind of logs I want to show you. Log of a fraction, log of 1, log of 0, log of a negative number. You could see some like this. What if you have log of a fraction? This is log base 2 of 1 8. How do you find that? For these, still do the same steps as before. Set it equal to x, rewrite it into exponential form. So when you rewrite this, you get 2 to the x power equals 1 8 over here. All you need to do is find what x makes this true, but it's not obvious when you have a fraction like 1 over 8 on the right side. You don't want that. You want to somehow make this into 2 to a power. There are tricks for this. First, check to see if anything in this fraction is a power of 2. 8 is 2 to the third power. So one trick is to rewrite this as 1 over 2 to the third power instead of 1 over 8. And then the other thing you'll need is to rewrite this. 1 over 2 to the third is the same as 2 to the negative 3 power. As you probably know, 2 to the negative 3 power, the negative power just means 1 over 2 to the positive version of the power. So when you do that, all you have to do is compare x and this power, the negative 3, to see that x is a negative 3. And since x is a negative 3, this whole log is equal to negative 3. So the log base 2 of a fraction is probably a negative number, a negative power. What about log of 1? This looks so simple, and yet it can be very confusing, confusingly simple. First of all, if there's no little power there, remember that it's 10. It's a hidden 10, and it's probably better to write it. Set it equal to x because you don't know what it is. Just set it equal to a variable, rewrite it. In exponential form, this is 10 to the x power equals 1. So what power, when you raise 10 to that power, equals 1? Well, if you didn't know, any number raised to the 0 power equals 1. So 10 to the 0 power equals 1. That's the only way that will happen. So that whole log is just equal to zero. What about log of zero? Same idea. For all of these, just try to rewrite them and see what happens. So when we rewrite it, we get 10 to the x power equals zero. If you think about this, 
there's never any number you could put in for the power of 10 that would ever give you back zero. Every power you put there will give you a positive number greater than zero. 10 to the zero power is one, not zero. 10 to a negative power is not a negative number. It's some fraction like this. So there's no x that will ever make this work. So x is undefined. This log is undefined. And finally, log of a negative number, same steps, try them. And when you do try that, you have 10 to the x power equals negative one. Just like in this one, you will never get negative one back. It's impossible. 10 to the zero is one. 10 to the negative number is some fraction that's positive. This is impossible. So x is undefined. There's nothing that works. The log is undefined. So these were my weird examples of logs, fractions, negative numbers, etc. Now I want to show you something called the natural log. All right, now let me show you natural logs. That's what this ln means. It stands for natural log, so natural log of 1, or ln of 1. What is a natural log? It really is not as hard as it sounds. It's just a special kind of log where the base is e. So whenever you see ln, you can rewrite it as log base e. I think that's the easiest way to evaluate it. So ln1, natural log of 1, is really just log base e of 1. So if you want, you can rewrite it and then it'll be easier to solve for what this equals. What is e, by the way? It's just a special number in math. It's a constant, and if you put it in your calculator, it'll be some decimal like 2.718 something something and so on forever. But it really is just defined to be the base of the natural log. So you don't really need to understand that. It's just that when you see ln, just know that it means log base e. After doing that, all the other steps are the same as what you've been doing before. So set this equal to x, rearrange it into exponential form. So if you rearrange this into exponential form, you start with the base, which happens to be this e symbol. You raise it to the x power and set it equal to 1. So e to the x power equals 1. And after that, just ask yourself what power would ever make this equal to 1, and the only one that works is 0. Remember, a number raised to the 0 power is 1 always. So x has to be 0. And since x is 0, it also means that ln of 1 is also 0. Here's one more natural log problem ln of e to the third power. So natural log of e to the third power or natural log of e cubed. This looks complicated. I promise it's going to be very easy for you. I still think the best way to do this is to rewrite the ln as log base e. So let's do that. Looks a little strange, but that's what that stands for. From here, just use the same steps. So how did I get this? Same steps as before, take the base e, raise it to the right side power, x, and set it equal to whatever was in the middle of the log, in the argument of the log, which happened to be e cubed. So whatever that was, that's what you set it equal to. And after you do that, all you need to do is match these, compare them, and see that x has to be 3. And since x has to be 3, this whole log is just equal to 3. So that whole expression was equal to 3. Now there's one more kind of log I want to show you, and that is when you have an x somewhere in the log expression in the base or in the argument. So it's a little weirder, but it's the last type, I promise. So let's look at those. All 
All right, here are some even weirder types I want to show you. They're even weirder because they might throw you off if you see them. They're a little more confusing because in like in these two, the X is inside the log expression. It's the base here and it's the argument, the middle number here. And then this last one is super weird. It will mean that you have to use the change of base formula, which you might have heard of. But let's look at these two. If you see one that says solve and it's a log equation with x inside the log, I know it looks different. And solving log equations is actually a whole other topic that could take a whole other video, but I wanted to give you a taste of it because I know it looks a lot like what we were doing and I don't want you to be thrown off if you see it. You really can use the same steps as before. So try it for both of these. If you see something like this, even though there's a variable inside the log, you really should try the same steps because you'll probably get something that's a lot easier to figure out. So let's try it for the first one. So when you rearrange it, you take the base x, raise it to the fifth power on the right, and set it equal to 32. x to the fifth equals 32. And then looking at that, you can tell that x has to be 2 because 2 to the fifth power equals 32. And that really is the answer, x equals 2. So just try the same steps as before, and you may be able to figure out what the solution is. Same thing for this one. Rearrange it. So you get base 5 raised to the power of 3 equals x, because x was the middle number. And this is even faster. You just need to figure out what 5 to the third power is. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So the answer is x equals 125. So if you see one like that, just try the same steps. That's, that's the bottom line. And then this last type, calculate log base 2 of 7. Log base 2 of 7, I mean, that looks a lot like what we were doing before. And you should try to rearrange it the same way. So if you do, If you do, you get 2 to the x power equals 7. And I can't think of a number that makes that true. I don't know what that number is. If this were 8, it would be 2 to the third power. But there's no integer nice, neat number that works. It's going to be a decimal that it's hard to find by hand. So what you have to do if, if you run into that is use the change of base formula. And whatever log you had, log base 2 of 7, the change of base formula lets you rewrite it. So you can rewrite it, and it becomes log of 7, the larger number, over log of 2, the base number. Log of 7 over log of 2, and you can use whatever base you want. This is just like the default 10. But you plug this into a calculator, and you do that division, and whatever decimal you get is the answer for the log. I'm showing you that in case you get one like that where there aren't these like nice, neat numbers that you can do by hand. So that's important in case that comes up. So I hope that helped you understand logs. I know logs are everyone's favorite. It's OK. You don't have to like math. But you can like my video, so if you did, please click like or subscribe.